Welcome back to the shop. Today we're working on a Craftsman T1500. It's just a normal lawn tractor just used for mowing and sometimes pulling the dethatcher around the yard. My son uses it to mow our neighbor's yard. The neighbor pays him for that, kind of his first job. And when he was out there last week, when he went to engage the PTO, there's nothing there. So I took a quick look at it, the cable's broken. So that's what we're gonna work on today, replacing the PTO engagement cable. All right, if you get a chance, do me a solid, hit that like button, maybe even subscribe, and let's get to work on this baby. Like I said, this is a Craftsman T1500. And you can tell it's just a normal lawn tractor model, not a garden tractor. So there's the model number and serial number for you. And here's the part we're gonna be putting in, engagement PTO cable. Happen to order this from partstree.com. Got it in about a week. All right, so as you can see the first step Pop the seat up, get the battery out, and now we're gonna kinda dig into where the battery sits. Kind of a bugger to run video, you know, because I've got the bagger attachment hooked up to the back. Let's see if I can get in on that. Okay, so you can kinda see what holds the battery in there. So let's get these out, and they should just be compression fit in there. Rotate them, squeeze them together, and then it comes out like that. Rotate it, squeeze it together. That needs to come off. That guy right there needs to come off. All right, so once you get that off, you can see the cable there. It just runs down and under all of this. I'm gonna run to the bottom of the tractor and kind of show you that. You can see where that cable runs. Right, right here. And then, so you can kind of see where that cable runs there. And then up until your left there is where it hooks up. And that just comes down, kind of lays on the transmission there. Let's see if we can get a good video of that. Almost impossible to get the video back there. Whew, okay. So that goes in there. It is a 3 8 So let's get the new one dropped in there. You can see where this thing just got old and broke. set up pay attention to that piece Okay, you see how there's this, that skinnier top goes on the top and the thicker bottom goes on the bottom of that hole. So we should just fish it in like that and then it should pop into place. My flashlight is getting very warm in case anybody's wondering. Yep. Let's make sure that's set in there properly. All right, so we got that bad boy set in there properly. 
Now we'll go around the side of the tractor and underneath. And I'll kind of show you what we're so you can see that cotter pin we need to pull right here. Easy peasy. Stow that away for later. And then this should turn and come out. There we are. So we get that plastic piece moved up. got this guy here who is just hooked in right there so we're going to unhook that and then the rest of that will just come right out okay got that unhooked Now the rest of that pops right out of there, pops right out of there, and we got our old cable out. Okay, there's our old cable, so we got that, and here's our new cable. actually there we are now we just hook that spring back up to that right here find it just goes right in there so unfortunately I'm gonna need two hands for that so we're gonna put that right on there I'll catch you up in just a second all right so I switch sides on you okay see how that clips in runs underneath that bar here and underneath the belt and back to this deal here which it just slides in Right there and you just put the cotter pin in right there to hold it and of course I can't uh, get that in and video at the same time so hold on one second okay so now we got the cotter pin in so that ain't going anywhere all right so now let's test this Come down here. Everything should be tight. And we release it. Loose. Engage it. Tight. Blades are spinning. Well guys, thanks for tuning in today. Hopefully you got something out of this video. I know I did. This was the first time I replaced that PTO clutch cable, PTO cable. So I'm happy to know how to do it now. I do wish that this model had the PTO engager on the tower. That would have been easier to do. Uh, once you get down into that battery area, man, that was a booger. Anyway, again, thank you for tuning in. Like, subscribe. If you're feeling crazy, hit that bell for notifications. And we'll see you next video.